consultant and developer with Resultant. I'd like to welcome you back to our continued series on Power BI. Today, we're going to talk about publishing and accessing dashboards in the Power BI service. To start, let's navigate to the dashboard that I created specifically for this tutorial. First, let's confirm that we've signed into the appropriate account. Yep, looks good. Once this has been confirmed, we can click on the Publish button at the top of the pane. From here, we can select the workspace that we would like the dashboard to live. You will always have access to My Workspace, which is a curated workspace that is unique and personal to you. If you publish to this workspace, you will be the only one who has immediate access to the dashboard. You can, however, share a specific item from your workspace with others. Let's see what that would look like by selecting My Workspace. Once the dashboard has been successfully published, we can navigate to the service to view it. We can now see the dashboard published to the service. If we would like to share this dashboard with others, we can click on My Workspace. Here we can see the artifact that we just published, and we can click the Share icon. Here we can select the level of permissions we would like to apply to the link or invite. Once that has been selected, we can enter in the recipient's email. and click send or copy link to share the link with a recipient. If, however, you would like to create a structured space for a defined audience, we can create or utilize an established workspace. For our purposes, let's start by creating a new workspace. In the service, click on workspaces in the left pan. Click new workspace. In the pop-up pane, we can name our new workspace We can also provide a description and even upload an image for the workspace. There are a couple additional advanced options to us, which we will review in a later video. Let's click Save. Once the workspace has been created, we can add additional members to the workspace, assign various levels of permission, and even create apps. These are all items that we will cover in a later video. For our purposes, let's add some additional members to our workspace. We can do this by clicking Manage Access. For this video, I'm going to add the rest of my members of the BI team. I'm going to do that by selecting the AD group and clicking Add. Now my whole BI team is a member to this workspace. Let's go back to our dashboard in Power BI Desktop. Once again, let's click on the Publish button at the top of the pane. If a save window ever pops up, just go ahead and click Save. And this time, let's select the workspace that we just created. Once it has successfully published, we can navigate to the workspace in the service to check it out. At this point, everyone who has access to the workspace will automatically be able to see the newly published artifact. In this case, that includes my entire BI team. They will always be able to access this space by navigating to workspaces and clicking on the workspace that they have access to. Here we can see the artifact that we just published. And that is how to publish and access dashboards in the Power BI service. Thank you for joining me and be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications for more Power BI tutorials. If there's a topic you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment on the video and visit resultant.com to learn more about data analytics and our service. Thanks.